Hello and welcome everyone to this review. Uh, today I'm going to be taking a look at the 2021 uh, motorized oil engines Go Thomas. So this Thomas uh, just came out last year, back in December, November, if I can get focused on the licensing over there. Uh, yep, and this is based off the new animated series, Oil Engines Go. I'm not sure where you can watch it. There's a few episodes on YouTube, but like I have no clue where the full series is available. Uh, basically, as you can probably tell, uh, Oil Engines Go was made to uh, it's, it was made to be a more cartoony, more toddler friendly version of the original Thomas series, which was more for like, like, I don't know, people, kids older than toddlers, basically. I'm not sure there's a term for kids in that age group, but it was meant to be, All Engines Go is meant to be basically like more of a baby show, like Paw Patrol, uh, Bluey, Peppa Pig, stuff like that. Uh, Taking a look at the actual model, it's very, very nicely made. It reuses some of the old uh, Trackmaster 2 wheels, and it uh, uses basically the main chassis design. Uh, it's got a, he's got a pretty nice face to him. It, it's not like 3D, like old faces, not completely 3D anyways. The only like 3D part is the uh, nose. Other than that, everything is just printed on there, whereas on old Thomas's, the faces were, like, actually sculpted. Uh, he's not, like, very linear. He's supposed to look, like, uh, rubber hosey and bouncy and stretchy, which this model, you know, really accomplishes well. Uh, it runs great. It's very quiet. The motor's very quiet. Uh, if I can just get my... Uh, what do you call it? My Tommy Thomas, and I can show you like how noisy that is. But maybe in a separate video, I'll compare this Thomas with the Tommy Thomas. Uh, like if you actually compare uh, this motorized Thomas to like the actual Oil Engines Go Thomas, I'd say they look like almost perfectly alike. I'm willing to say that this is one of the best Thomas items uh, made in recent years. Like it's just so accurate. Uh, to the current show and it like and it just looks really good like i don't know unboxing this thing just made me feel like a kid again like i kind of got that nostalgia i used to get it's a really nice looking model uh i'm gonna run it a bit with some of my old tommy rolling stock well except that that came with this thomas but yeah i'm gonna run this guy all right so i've got thomas on my blue track my blue Tommy track, not the Trackmaster 2 track. I don't know, I just prefer the blue track, you know? So, on this blue track, he actually runs pretty well. He's a bit noisier on this. Um, pretty noisy, actually. As you can probably hear, I've had to raise my voice. Uh, he's a great runner. He's actually quite slow for a uh, motorized engine. Uh, the motorized Trackmaster 2 engines were known to be pretty fast, but he's, you know, kind of average. I'd say at the pace of a original Tommy or Hit Toys Thomas. Let's get some shots of him, shall we? comes to the switch, I'm going to power him off. Uh, yeah, it's kind of hard to do him. Kind of did a, kind of popped a wheelie there, didn't he? Uh, so, yeah. I guess that's really all I have to say about this, Thomas. Well, now that I think about it, these couplers are kind of messed up. Like, it, they stick out, his coupler sticks out, like, really, it, it's really long. Sorry, if I'm, if I've been awkward, I'm just trying to think of what to say. Uh, but yeah, that's really all I have to say about this, Thomas. It, it's, for what it's worth, uh, it's it's a pretty good model. I would recommend getting this uh, engine because I think it's, you know, a, a very good, high-quality toy. Uh, the lining, <laughs> I'm just thinking of things to add now, but the lining on this is really just exemplar. Like, usually, like, printed lining on smooth plastic doesn't go over very well. Like, my old Playrail Thomas, which I don't own anymore, like, the lining on that was printed. It was 
it, it came off so easily. It was really one of the most disappointing toys I've ever had, which is going to anger a lot of play rail purists, but it's the truth. Like, usually uh, printing stuff on smooth plastic does not go over well, uh, but the printing on this is, you know, really well done. I have to give credit to Mattel for that. And yeah, that's all I have to say about Liz Thomas. Thank you for watching. I appreciate it. And I am probably going to think of more things to upload next.